last time I did a tutorial was July 4th, 2014. Um, today is July 23rd, 2015. So, um, it's been a year since I've actually up updated the Orbiter tutorial. And today, we're, they're going to do two parts. First part is on how to install it, and second part is how to use it and use the MFDs, as I'm going to say. Um, I've actually have a brand new computer, so performance may vary from what I had to hear. Um, again, as I said, performance may vary from the settings I actually use on here, so you may have to talk, um, tinkle a little with it. Thank you for guys for watching. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Orbiter. Now, there are three different websites to go to and download Orbiter. Um, this one right here. We have Orbiter Distribution Host, which is um, orbitersimulator.com. This is one of the websites that I'll be using today. Um, so there are two different types. There is the MSI and the ZIP. The MSI one actually installs Orbiter for you. Um, if you want that, and you know, if you're one of those beginner beginner of computer users, use the MSI if you want to. Um, otherwise, um, use the zip file as I'm going to use. Now, the zip file is the one that basically you're going to have to extract and you're going to have to um, install it on your own. So, the MSI, again, the MSI does it all for you. Next thing after that, you're going to need is you're going to need either uh, the texture packs or you're going to need um, what I have the IMFD. Now, I use version 4.2.2 because it's easier for me and I can't stand 5.5's interface. So, <clears throat> excuse me, after that, once you have Orbiter downloaded and all ready, you should actually get a folder ready and you should. So, once you get your folder ready, um, Just a little rename. Anyways, once you have your orbiter ready and downloaded, you want to do again, as I said in the last tutorial, you want to drag all the files and drag them into your folder. <clears throat> once that is done, you want to do is you want to run the orbiter orbiter.exe and install it and let it check if you have any problems with it. Um, sometimes you will have an error with the download. Um, some one of the files might become corrupted. Um, Internet Explorer has a problem with me doing that, so instead I use Chrome or Firefox. Once you have that done, again, we're gonna head to the Orbiter folder and we're gonna head to Orbiter.exe. You're gonna run it, and you'll see this window right here. You'll have a command prop in the top left to open up, and it will. T um, after you've done the runtime libraries, you're it's gonna check your DirectX. Um, it runs on DirectX 8, which is an older DirectX, but don't worry. Um, there is also a package out there that uses DirectX 9, which will be what we're using today. After that, once we have that done, um, right here. You're going to exit out of there. You're going to download the IMFD for version 4.2.2, and we're going to use that instead of the 5.5. It's much easier, um, in my opinion. Again, what you're going to do is you drag the files. You're going to drag them into the folder. Once you have that, you want to um, do this for all current items and press yes. It's going to merge all folders into one folder. After that, you want to head to um, one of these. Basically, let's have, <clears throat> let's have the moon. <clears throat> now, the moon, the moons, and all the planets' texture packs are all basically the same. Um, let's say, for example, you want your uh, more celestial spheres. Um, it's basically the same. What you do is you drag the files into your folder, and you have to go to the configuration file and configure it. Um, I'll show you that in just a minute.
Once you have that, we're going to go and head to to get the moon textures that I use, um, which are the level 10 moon textures by orb. And it depends on what which pixels you have. Um, this one and this one are totally different. This one has a zip file and a 7 zip file. This one's more compressed than this one. We're going to download this one right here. And once you have the, your, um, let's say for example, your sphere done, you're going to drag the configuration file and a textures file in here once again. And do this and merge all the files. You're going to have um, little overmaps and you're going to have to replace the files. Once you have that done, you're going to download and go to danstefforders.com. Then you're going to download three mods that are important for um, our orbiter today. You're going to need you're going to need Orbiter Sound 4.0, Delta Glider 3 version 3.0 with UMNU, and UCGO 3.0. Now, for the best result, it also says you want to get the DirectX 9, DirectX 11 client. You can go through here, right? right here and then just go through um, <clears throat> the DirectX 9 client. DirectX 11 does not work on our um, on Orbiter 2010. Um, the new beta version actually uses DirectX 11. So once we have that done, we're going to download these three files right here and um, these are installers so these should be relatively easy to use. After you got your textures files done, so this is how you do it. You got the moon. Don't bother with the setup and just do it my way. So you got the textures too and the add on docs. And what you're going to do is you're going to put them in to this folder right here. And you're going to um, merge the files again and do all of that. Basically, all the mods allow, um, make sure you do that instead. Do that. Merge. <clears throat> now, some of them actually have add-on documents that you can use. Um, this one has a README where it actually has the instructions inside. Basically, what you do is you go into your um, the moon.configuration file in the configuration file folder. So you go to config, and you go to the moon, and what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to edit, edit the summary, and you're going to need to... Edit this to level 10, to the highest sphere patch level. It says right here, max pack patch re resolution is 10. <clears throat> okay, I have that done. Basically, that's what you do for all textures. Um, some of them actually help you out with the um, with that. Um, these are relatively easy. You run the files and you go to the Orbiter folder. Mine's in a desktop because it's Orbiter tutorial and I don't want to put it in the main folder because I already have mine all set. Once you have that done, these um, the installers are the exact same for both three. So you head to the Browse button and head where your Orbiter is at. So it's right here. Where's the Orbiter tutorial? And you want to install it. This is what it basically does does nothing with the registry as it says on the top. So it says this right here, um, you really, you're going to have to activate the module inside the game. Now I'll teach you how to do that later. Next mod is the XR2 and the XR5. So we need to go to Altia Airspace. Um, I'll just... You need Altia Aerospace. Head to here, and as it says right here, the XR re vessels require the 2 and 0 and the 3.5. Now these are older versions, and they're obsolete completely. We're going to download Vanguard and Ravenstar. 
both of these I use. So we're going to download both zip files. <clears throat> All three files are basically finished, so we should have Delta Glider 3 finished. You can exit out of there. Once you have the browse, you want to do the same thing as you did with the UCGO cargo and Orbiter Sound. <clears throat> Um, you don't need to do this since we already have a brand new UMMU. <clears throat> While these are downloading, we're gonna, I'm going to teach you on how to um, configure your orbiter um, bare bonesly because we're going to use the, we're going to use this instead later. Um. I put everything on right here as the most realism as possible. Don't need transparent cockpit. Um, I use cloud shells, specular ripples, and I do that. And I also use the visible. I don't use track IR or mesh debug. Um, here's the interplanetary. I use that orbiter sound, and I use the frame rate, and all of these. And that's basically it. Always, always, when you're actually heading through, heading with um, DirectX 9, you always want to be in windowed mode. DirectX 9, an orbiter, hates full screen completely. So we have that done. The XR2 and XR5 are basically finished, so you're going to do the same thing. You're going to just drag and trace the files to the orbiter folder. As you can see, there's a trend. Um, most mods do this. You're going to need to do this 90% of the mods. And 90% of these mods do the exact same thing. So we had, I think, the XR2. So. Do that. <clears throat> After that, we're going to let this install. We're going to go ahead and download the DirectX 9 client that we use. We're going to head to directx.clipplex.com. We'll put this in the description. All the files are going to be in the description. Don't worry. The next is you're going to drag these files. Merge, and you're all set to go. Got two minutes left for this. Um, next, instead of opening orbiter.exe, you're going to open the orbiter ng. That is the console version of orbiter. Um, we're going to use that instead. Now, you're going to enable DirectX 9 client, interplanetary, orbiter sound, DirectX 9, MFD, all the uh, other MFDs. And that's basically it. Um, you'll notice everything is should be here. Uh, nope. Again. Okay. We got that. Now, as you can see, this is totally different. Um, you have an advanced button. Um, if you do have multiple screens, you can go true full, not true full screen. You can go with um, full screen taskbar. <coughs> Click Advanced, and we're going to use Load on Demand. Use Proof of Quality, GDI DirectX, um, no um, Level 1 Debug, Full Scene Enabled. Everything should be on the highest setting possible. So you got Anti-Aliasing and Anastronic Filtering 16x. I'll put my specs in the bottom of the description. Um, if you have a lighter spec, um, put this either 4x or 8x, um, and then you should actually be fine with most of the settings. After that, 
we have that exit orbiter and we're going to install the UCGO cargo <clears throat> again we're going to go to the orbiter folder click OK and install it This is again, it's going to be like an outdated MMU. We are actually on the latest. After that, you're basically finished with most of the downloads. Um, in, fact, not, in fact, all the downloads. Now you're going to have your document folders and you're going to have um, configuration files. Two of these right here. Um, these are from my other folder. You're going to head to the Delta Glider 4 configuration file. Um, I use four years and a Mark 5 engine and we want huge Jupiter and I just put this no smoke and I put fuel and engine all three of these are actually um, unticked and I put 16 small debris um, if you have a lower if you have a lower end system you can actually have no small debris or any debris at all or have some small debris I use 16 after that, you're going to say and exit. It's going to say you're going to need to load it in, load it in Delta Glider 4. Then you're going to go in here. And after that, we're going to go and um, turn off the MP3. <clears throat> now you can you can put down the volume. But I prefer no MP3 because I actually have my own music, so I can actually listen to it while I play. So we save and exit. I'm going to delete these three file folders. Um, those three were the links to the, the um, document folders from online. That is basically it with um, the Orbiter tutorial. Um, next episode, we will I will teach you on how to control the spacecraft and use IMFD 4.2.2. Thank you for watching.